Welcome to the Land Cruiser Project. You have arrived at the most irrelevant Land Cruiser related uh, YouTube channel. So yeah, happy to have you here. Uh, if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If not, yeah, please stay a while if you like it. Uh, what we do on this channel, among other things, is review auction listings from sites like Bring a Trailer, Cars and Bids, and yeah, go through the vehicles, see if they might be a good deal, um, try and identify any you know defects or flaws that maybe aren't being disclosed, and just kind of help inform you what to look for um, if you're purchasing one of these or if you're looking elsewhere, um, you know, just so you have an idea of what to look for on these Land Cruisers. So yeah, let's get into the one that we're going to go over today. This is a, a great looking uh, 1994 uh, FZJ80. Um, yep. Yeah, so this is an 80 series. Um, great presentation. Looks amazing. The look of the wheels and the tires and uh, yeah, the paint you know, and the setting there in the desert, desert looks, yeah, just amazing. So this should be fun. So let's jump through it and go over the overview and some of the high level details. Um, so this is that dark emerald pearl green, which is, you know, prevalent on most of these, not most, but a lot of the 80 series. Uh, it looks like a lot of work has been done. Um, new fluids, new gaskets, kind of all of the common things that, yeah, these 80 series need. Uh, it's got 162,000 miles. It does not have uh, the front and rear lockers. Uh, it does have the cloth uh, interior, which is going to have the, you know, the manual seats, which in my opinion are, are far better for a lot of different reasons. And it's got a sunroof and everything else looks normal. Uh, it looks like it has a clean Carfax and a clean Arizona title. Uh, it's being sold by a dealer, not a private party. All right, going through the rest of this uh, description, looks like um, work completed under the current ownership is said to have included repainting the hood, the fender flares, and rear quarter panels and bumpers, and replacing the fender, geez, the fender flare seals in the antenna motor and mast, and removing and refinishing the receiving hitch or receiver hitch. So... Yeah, rear quarter panels, supposedly they had like the light guards over them. They had kind of scratched it. Um, yeah, the fender flares were faded and there was some fade on the hood as you'd expect, but no accident damage uh, according to this. Um, let's see. It uh, looks like wheel bearings and front brakes were addressed in September of 2022. And yeah, power pump you know, resale. So this is very common stuff for a vehicle this age. But yeah, look at that interior. It looks looks great. It looks almost brand new. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the Carfax. You can review, you know, the list of things that are done. This this all is very common for these. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the Carfax. Um, let's see, it's got three owners, uh, seven-ish years in, in Iowa, and then the rest of the time in Arizona. I'm just going to scan through this. Usually it's pointed out if there's some sort of like mileage inconsistent, inconsistency, but let's just make sure it all makes sense. And you know you can check the um, you know, the service history that's reported to um, to Carfax. So seeing a couple of these being from Toyota, if you were to go to the you know Toyota like service history portal, um, yeah, you should see record of some of these. And yeah, sometimes there's some prizes there, but on something like this, yeah, there's there's probably nothing too you know too big like a um, you know like a head gasket or an engine replacement things of that nature. All right, yeah. Everything looks pretty, pretty good there. Um, so let's go ahead and jump through the photos and yeah, see, this is gonna be kind of like some of the other ones. Oh, there is a video. Oh yeah, that's right. What I wanted to show you here is just this beautiful sound of this thing starting up. So yeah, enjoy this. <laughs> There's just something about the sound of the 1FC starting up. Um, yeah, I just really enjoy the, the, the sound of it. Hope you did too. Um, yeah, so similar to some of the other listings that we've done, we're going to basically just be looking for things that are wrong, uh, checking for weird alignment, checking for, you know, maybe dings, you know, things that would detract over, you know, mint condition, um, just based on the presentation that we've seen so far, you know, it does look like it's, uh, you know, better than average, uh, condition Land Cruiser. So yeah, let's jump through it and yeah, just the, the wheels. Yeah. That, and the tires. Yeah. That's a good setup. looks nice. All right, so let's skim through these, see if anything grabs our attention. Um, I do like, at least already, that I've seen the seller is providing photos in um, you know, different lighting conditions in different locations. Uh, it helps to see the vehicle you know, in 
you know, all sorts of different lights. So that's a nice touch. But checking the fender gaps here, that all looks fine. Um, you know, maybe a little misalignment on this front bumper corner and a little bit in that light. That could be normal, but um, yeah, just something that catches my eye. And yeah, I do like the look of these fresh uh, fender flare seals. That's a, yeah, a nice touch. And remember, the hood was repainted, um, but I, I don't see. It looks like they got a pretty decent color match on the hood going to the fender. Yeah, little little something. Maybe things didn't get assembled right. Maybe, maybe it's never been taken apart. Yeah, I don't know if I'd make anything of the kind of the misalignment. I don't know, it could be nothing. But yeah, really like the different lighting conditions. That's awesome. Uh, so it does have the factory rack. Most of them do. Um, you know, it, there was seven years in in Iowa, so you know, keep keep an eye on corrosion. Um, you know, the feet on these can rust out, um, but given the rest of its life was in was in Arizona, it's probably not a concern. Yep, just checking more for you know misalignment. It was kind of funny. I was driving today, and you know, you can see the reflection of these, you know, these trees in the hill here in the, you know, in the door panels, you know, I was next to a Tesla and was looking at the reflection and you like, you can tell what's being reflected here on this. And so as I was sitting there and I saw the Tesla, I couldn't tell what was being reflected, you know, it's whether the, you know, the way that the panels interacted and went from, you know, the front door to the rear door, it did not have this level of quality, you know, and I looked just at the other cars that were next door, like one was like a Ford, you know, the other, you know, was whatever. They had the same quality where you could see, you know, what was being reflected. Um, kind of an interesting thing. I know sometimes uh, the other Teslas don't have a good reputation for, for high quality, but that was yeah, at least one anecdotal experience that I had. So I did see in the video there is a, a like a door ding on on this rear quarter panel on the uh, the passenger side. It wasn't any bigger than a quarter, but it, yeah, it looks like it's not showing in the photos. But it definitely showed in the video. And I'm going to say it again: yeah, the wheels and the tires. It's just a it's a good looking combination. You know, it's interesting, the seller in the comments indicated in, in the description too that the, the hood was painted. I'd be surprised un unless this thing, yeah, I guess I'd just be surprised if, if they didn't hit the hood with some paint, or not the hood, but the roof. Um, I don't know. It, especially if it was parked outside, it'd be hard to believe that, yeah, the hood, jeez, <laughs> the roof didn't also suffer some sort of, um, yeah, sun damage. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good paint job. Not seeing any, and it'd be hard to pick it out. It's really easy on like a white or a you know a, like a silver vehicle, um, you know whether there's overspray. But yeah, at least from from these photos, it looks like the masking was was good, and it looks like an okay paint job. If you, if you remember that that first 80 in this emerald green that we looked at that had been repainted, you know, and like how they were painted over and all crackly and gross. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. <laughs> and same thing here. It looks like the door handles, if they, you know, painted. It's hard to believe that they didn't paint it, but yeah, the paint's in good shape. But if they didn't, they uh, yeah certainly took care to not get paint where they didn't want to. Yep, nothing nothing really screaming at me. This looks good. The rear rear bumper looks good too. Looks looks nice and fresh. Just some minor scratches, maybe a little little chip there. Yep, nothing major. Yeah, still a little skeptical that the roof wasn't painted. Um but yeah, let's talk about this tree. That's interesting how it's been over like that. Yeah, this is in this is in nice shape. Yeah, this is this is nice. Little looks like a little scratch. 
it's it's good that you know that they're providing the photos of this that way yeah nobody's surprised <laughs> it's a good it's a good indicator of an honest seller yeah nice close up shot yeah I'm, you know i mentioned earlier that little you know gap so on this side it, you know switching from the um yeah, the valence, this like corner panel, you know, and also in this like headlight trim, it kind of like lines up really well. Uh, there's a slight, you know, like it's down a little bit. I don't know if that can be uh, fixed by yeah loosening this bolt, well, all of them for that matter, and, you know, and kind of bumping it up a little bit. Uh, it just doesn't look like it quite lines up. But looking at the rock chips, that's very consistent with 167,000 miles of, uh, of use. Um, but also... You know, you can tell in using that information, you can tell that the hood's been repainted because there's nothing there. Uh, whereas, you know, this panel's gotten, you know, it's cut all the rocks. All right, there's a shot of the undercarriage. Looks looks promising, uh, given, you know, seven years in Iowa. Just another little scratch. But overall, yeah, this looks nice and clean. Yeah, this could go. I know the repaint takes a little bit away from the value, but yeah, this could go for some good money. Yeah, this interior looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it's going to be a losing battle with that seat foam. Um, but you know, what, what can you do? At least the seat goes forward and backward and yeah, it doesn't take forever. I, I hate those power seats so bad. And I, I just, I love the carpet on these 93, 94s. Yeah. The carpet in the center conal, that's something that's been added. I wonder if it's glued down or, or how that's there, but yep. Nice and nice and clean. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, some of these, uh, you know, each each 80 that I've had, they've kind of all been different, like in this area here by the A pillar. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, they're all they're all different. I mean, I do see a little waviness. It's prob probably nothing. But yeah, that driver's side looks good. Moving to the, the passenger side. Yeah, just this is real clean. It's good touch on the weather tech mats. Those fit great. I like that it's, I, I think from the video you saw that it was the original stereo. It's, it's a nice touch. I, I hate those like touch screens and all that new stuff. I know it can be nice, but yeah, I like kind of keeping it all, all original. It just kind of keeps it all in the correct period. But yeah, there you go. 162,000 miles. And look at that stereo still running strong. So this one maybe is missing that little rubber that I showed in some of the other videos. Um, it also might have only come on the later, you know, like 95, 6, 7. Um, but one thing that's cool to see included here is the original carpet, you, you know, that's in the bottom of this cup holder. Well, is it a cup holder? No, no, just a little cubby. But uh, yeah, that's usually long gone. But people like, you know, Wits End, you know, you can still get those from him. If you want it, I don't know. Some people aren't OCD like that. <laughs> All right, second row seats look good. Third row seats look good. You know, this is yeah, this is in great shape. This thing's been babied. Showing the window runs off. I'm not sure why you'd include the blurry photo, but yeah, this this show's really nice. Little discoloration there in the carpet. But yeah, if that's the worst of it, yeah, it's not bad. And you can see, like in the fabric, you can see the like the the depth and the detail in it. You know, it's it does have, you know, like these little like reds and oranges. Um, that was the same color of, uh, front seats that I put in my, my, uh, my white, uh, 97 and yeah, I, it was kind of a shame to cover them up with those, um, uh, those seat covers that I got from uh, escape gear, but you know, yeah, this thing's clean. It's barely used. Yeah. Hard to go, how to go wrong with this. So yeah. What do you think? Like in the, in the comments, would you be able to. Uh, you know, take this thing off road or would you just keep it nice and clean and just keep it to the street? Uh, what do you think? 
I think I'd be more in the in the group to just kind of keep it nice and original. Uh, but I yeah certainly wouldn't let it just sit. I'd I'd use it. I'd drive it, even though it cost <laughs> a relative fortune. All right, yeah. Moving to the engine bay um, again. Yeah, just looking out for things that look unusual. Uh, first thing that catches my attention here is this uh, clip for the wiring, uh, for the main wiring harness. So that's going to be an indicator of how the rest of the clips are. I mentioned there's one that keeps the wiring away from the EGR pipe, and then there's some additional ones like underneath and through the uh, the intake manifold. But none, in my opinion, are as critical as that one over there by the EGR. So definitely something to you know ask for and keep an eye out for on yeah all of these 80 series. Make sure that wiring you know as it comes down from right here and dips down, you can kind of see it right there. Just make sure it hasn't been cooked. That's going to be a huge headache if uh, yeah if it has. But it looks like some of the hoses have been replaced. Um, yeah, clean engine bay. You know, you don't, I don't really see evidence. I guess, and they did the valve gasket according to the records. Um, but yeah, that looks good. Looks like it's, you know, not, not leaking. But yeah, there's, there's the detail photo of that, that clip being broken. That one might even be in condition to just, you know, put it up. But yeah, get a zip tie on it. Check on the other one on this, uh, you know, like right about here is where it's at. Make sure it's keeping that wiring safe. The, the radiator doesn't doesn't look original to me. Um, it's certainly older, uh, but yeah, it's good to see that it's not all um, yeah f faded out and about to fail. Yeah, this is this is this is a good one. This looks pretty nice. Yeah, you can see that wiring dipping down right there, and then yeah, this EGR um, goes yeah. So the wiring kind of comes this way, and this EGR pipe kind of goes down right through there. Um, you know, one thing to look at, we mentioned in the other videos, you like Vince stickers, um, those, those Vince stickers didn't appear. I can't remember the exact year, but it, you know, it might be in that like 95, 96, 97 timeframe. Um, yeah. So like a 94, yeah, wouldn't have them. So it's not like they're missing, not like, you know, the fender's been replaced. Uh, they they just didn't have the requirement to do it at that time. Oops. I was going to zoom in there. There was something that kind of caught my attention on that, um, driver's side fender let me go back there maybe maybe i can get a detail photo well let's start here yeah sometimes these fenders they kind of have some weird texture i don't know maybe that's maybe that's nothing yeah that's probably nothing especially there at the front i don't know if it was from the forming process where they kind of you know the, the metal gets a little wavy but anyway it just caught my eye yeah, you can kind of see right there, similar thing, but that's that's pretty normal from what I've seen. Looks like some of these bolts have been turned. It wouldn't be um, unexpected for these to have been removed at some point, uh, whether you're removing the radiator, doing some of the work on the front of the engine. Um, you know, having this top piece can help, you know, ha having it be out of the way can be helpful, um, but not seeing, you know, kind of paint marks or twist marks on these. That's a good sign that that fender's never been off. Yeah, this, this could be a good one. Yeah, maybe I mentioned in one of the other videos, this like skid plate looked a little weird to me. I think it was just like the color. I don't know if it had, you know, I've, I guess maybe I'm used to it always being black black although it, that doesn't really look but whatever the angle was on the other video yeah really caught my attention but this yeah this looks very normal yeah that's that's good plate there Um, this line on the muffler is an indication that um, these drive shafts, you know, there are little zerk fittings to put grease in there. So it indicates that it has been <laughs> greased before, which is a good sign. Uh, I don't see any like fresh grease. Uh, so just, you know, one of those maintenance items to, to make sure to get done. Yeah, there's some fittings up here, some fittings down there that you, know, you got to hit with grease when you do oil change. And there's a little bit of what we picked up from, from Iowa. 
Um, you wouldn't expect to see that or this other corrosion on something that's been in Arizona its whole life. But for the most part, like looking at the front suspension and the front axle, yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks like a little crust, but yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. And then the rear, as you'd expect, is a little worse. Um, I think the spare tire is supposed to be flipped. Um, yeah, maybe there's a detail photo. The front side usually doesn't look as bad. Usually it's the, it's the back that kind of looks the worst. Let's see if we get a detail photo there. But the rest of the frame and the body, even you know, looking behind, that looks great. Uh, those front knuckles look nice as well. Um, this one looks like it was uh, serviced more recently than um, the, the passenger side. I think I remember a note saying that yeah, the the current owner of the dealer yeah, didn't ever do that service. It, they were good from, from the time they had it. Not seeing anything on this. Uh, let's see. This is the passenger side. I think I messed up the sides. Sometimes you get turned around in these photos, but yeah, a little bit more corrosion. It's a shame that this photo isn't focused on yeah the the suspension components there. But I don't think they're hiding anything. All right. Um. Yeah. Back through. Let's see what records they've got. You can see the optional equipment bunch of service records. Yeah, so that's yeah, it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> new shocks, idle air control valve, new tires, front crank sill. So these are the yeah, kind of the common oil leakers on the on the one FZ. Looks like they did a, a rear crankshaft sill. When was this job? In 2022, you got that done for 500 bucks? <laughs> that feels like a good deal. You have to pull the transmission for that. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good looking truck. Um, hmm. Let's see what this thing's at currently. So it's already at $23,000. It's got five days left. Remember, it's got really low mileage. Um, and it's in great shape. So, yeah, my, my guess on this one, I uh, haven't really looked at comparables. My, my wag, my guess is there's no reserve, right? Yeah, so that's, that's good on that seller. Um, yeah, so my, my guess is that this thing tops out at, yeah, $37,500. I don't think it'll go for more than that. I don't think it breaks 40 k I don't know. There's people still with <laughs> buying crazy things. I mean, it's it's not like collector nice, especially with all the repaint. But but it's nice. This would be a lovely vehicle to you know drive around town in. Um, yeah, I'll stick with thirty seven five. I'll probably be wrong. I'll be under. But anyway, that's my thought. What do you think? Did I miss anything? Um, yeah. What's your what what's your best guess on price? No, nobody's like gone out there and tried to. I mean, some people have said, "Oh yeah, you're right." And there was somebody else on the the 200 series video that said, "Yeah, I, I think you're gonna be wrong. It's gonna go higher." But yeah, somebody throw out a number. If you uh, if you throw out a number, yeah, your comment will get pinned, and yeah, you can get uh, that <laughs> ever so important and valuable uh, YouTube notoriety. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, have a good day. See ya.